Hello, my name is Sam and this is my friend Kyla and welcome to Home Debate Club. Home Debate Club helps people across the country in their homes or in school debate a big and important question. So thank you for joining us. Now before we debate, we need to make sure that we are ready and we're warmed up. And so we do this in Home Debate Club by playing a game. Kyla, tell us all about today's game. Yes, so today we're going to be playing the classic game of Simon Says. So how it works is I will play Simon, and when I say Simon Says, you have to do what is said. So if I say Simon Says wave, you have to wave, but I want to trip you up. So if I were to say wave without saying Simon Says, and you wave, you get a point. By the end of the game, you want the least amount of points. Does that make sense, Sam? That does make sense. So you guys at home, in school or wherever you are, you're going to do it at the same time as me when we play the game. Uh, and we need to know where we start. So Kyla, do you need us stood up? Do we need to be ready to play the game? Yes. Yeah, so everybody should be standing up so we can play the game. And okay, don't worry, go. we're going to do a practice round first. <laughs> so let me know when you're ready, Sam. Do I need to? Uh, I'll, this, yeah, this is me ready. I'm ready. Perfect. All right, guys. So we're doing a practice round. So Simon says wave. Simon says, touch your toes. Oh, that's, okay. I've done that a long time. Touch your nose. You. Simon says, touch your nose. Ah, oh, come on. All right, guys. So remember, you don't want to get a point, And you get a point if you do something without me saying Simon says. So are you ready to play for real? Yes, I need to concentrate harder because I got one wrong and I'm not going to do that again. So I'm ready. All right, let's go. Simon says, touch your ears. They're under my headphones. Simon says, touch your elbows. Both, I got both. Touch the top of your head. Mm. Simon says, touch the top of your head. Yes. Simon says, close your eyes. Open your eyes. Simon says, open your eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 I got it. Simon says, wiggle your fingers. Pat your head and rub your belly. This is really hard. Simon says pat your head, head uh, and rub your belly. Simon, 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 Simon. Simon says jump once. Jump twice. Simon says jump twice. Very good. All right, everyone, that's the end of the game. How did you do? Sam, you got one point. What? So good work. You got one point. You got one wrong. So everyone, good work. I hope you're all warmed up and now ready to start our debate. So the question that we are going to be debating today is, looking back on half term, what was the best thing that happened in school? We know that uh, it's been a different year this year and difficult in some ways, uh, but we wanted to find out about all the good things that have happened in school this past half term. And that's what our debate is all about. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So we have four ideas from young people this week. So idea number one, we're going to pull it up for you. Perfect. It's Freya from Stonehaven who says the best thing is being taught in person. Freya says that this is the best thing because she likes learning with her teacher, Miss Greaves, so or big shout out to Miss Greaves, and all of her friends, which this is a brilliant idea, Freya. Learning is always best, I think, when it's done together, and that's a great suggestion. Well done. Perfect. And that brings us to idea number two, which is from Matt in London who says the best thing has been getting back to see his classmate. Matt says this is because he didn't get to see them for a long, for a long time, which I'm sure lots of us uh, have had that experience too. So we imagine that there's going to be lots of agreement with Matt. And it's a really great suggestion. So well done. I'm sure students are happy to see their classmates again after such a long time. Yes, perfect. And that takes us then into idea number three. So Francesca from Nottingham says that the best thing that has happened in school this half term 
is being able to go back to the library. <laughs> Francesco, if I was your teacher, I think I'd be very proud because I imagine lots of teachers love this idea. Uh, Francesca says that this is because she's happy that she can get books from the school library again. Uh, and we think it's a fantastic idea. It's really nice, I think, for all of us, all of young people to be able to get access to different books they might not have at home. So brilliant. Great idea, Francesca. Perfect. And then that also takes us to idea number four, our last idea. So this is Jake from Wimslow, who says the best thing that has happened in school was seeing his hard work pay off. So Jake recently won a performing arts award at his school. So good job, Jake. Fantastic. Yeah, Jake says he picked this answer because after he heard the news that he had won, he felt like he'd achieved something and done something that was quite special in his school after working so hard in all of his drama classes. And uh, we think this is a brilliant idea, Jake, because um, maybe there's not awards, but whatever it is, we, I'm sure, all know what it feels like to feel that sense of pride in what we've done when we've worked really, really hard. And that's an amazing idea. So well done to you as well, Jake. Ah, perfect, guys. So then that takes us to the recap. Our four ideas this week is one, being taught in person. Two, getting to see classmates. Three, using the school library. And four, hard work being rewarded. These are all such positive ideas. I absolutely love them. And I can't wait to hear which one you all think is best. Right, before we get into the debate itself, we just need to spend 10 seconds thinking which of these four options do we agree with, just to ourselves in our heads, and we're gonna play Countdown to give us that time. So here we go. Amazing. Now, guys, that we've had the chance to think about things, I want to remind you how the debate works. So a young person will be leading and they need to do three things. One, they need to stand up like a teacher. Two, point at the person when it is their turn to speak. And three, make sure that everyone gets a turn. Now, if you're not leading, your job is to share your opinion and give reasons for your answer and try to reach an agreement with the rest of the people in your group. Are you ready to debate? We're going to debate in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> 